These are common mistakes that a lot of people make when they're just starting or even when they're experienced building a wardrobe. And the first one is buying from too many different brands. When I just started building my collection, I honestly had no clue what to buy and where to even look for. So then I ended up paying for stuff like this. Something like this that I will never wear. Oh my, look how skinny this is. Ooh. You might think that I made the wrong choice at that time. However, D squared, like this brand, it was really popping off and it just didn't fit my style and it still doesn't. Look at this. I cannot wear this for a long time and these super skinny jeans and ripped jeans, you can only wear it for certain styles and right now, I'm not about this. To avoid this issue, you gotta study the style and this is unfortunate. However, I'm gonna show you a good news. The good news is that Instagram is amazing at this. You're gonna have at least one or two brands that you really like. Just go to their Instagram, click on the drop down menu and it's gonna show you all related brands that have similar characteristics or at least other people find it similar. And nowadays it's really common for people to tag all the brands that they're wearing. So if you like a certain style, just click on it and put that much of effort. It's just like 10 seconds. By doing this, you can avoid building a messy wardrobe. And this is relatively easy to fix. However, the next mistake, which is buying just black shoes, is really hard. I'm also guilty of this, but whenever I buy black shoes, it's not because they're black, it's because I feel like they're the best. And when you start to look at your wardrobe, you're like, I wish I had brighter shoes. I wish I had something else. And now that I'm starting to develop my style, I'm kind of growing out of the old black shoes that I used to wear. I'm, I'm still there, but I'm, I'm getting to the other side. So from now on, whenever you're going shopping, try to make a conscious choice of not leaning towards like dark shoes. Try to go for brighter ones, try to go for accent colors. And yeah, that will really help you with your collection. Just look at all these dark slash black shoes that I have. I need to brighten up my collection. Oh my God. And number three, lack of fundamental pieces. Whenever you're building a wardrobe and you're online shopping, you tend to lean towards like unique stuff. I was also like that and I don't want you to make the same mistake because whenever you go for unique pieces, yes, it's nice to have it. However, it becomes super hard to style. It's like, the level gets from here to here because the fundamental pieces, they're fundamental and classics for a reason. It fits every outfit, it goes well with anything. However, unique pieces, you gotta style it in a unique way to kind of like let the uniqueness express. And as you're building your style, that is really hard because you're just starting. Or even when you're experienced, like even for me, I find unique pieces much harder to style than like basic pieces. What I've realized recently is that it's better to have the same clothes in different colors rather than different styles because then you can match this with anything that the orange sweater could do. Here's a good example. So let's say I'm matching this coat and I'm wearing the green sweater. All I got to do is put on an accessory. So for example, this cap that has a green accent color, wear this and then let's say I wanted to go with this. All I got to do is change the cap and if you feel like this is too much of color matching then you can go back to the previous one and this is the benefit of having something like this like where you can just change the color it's so much easier to make an outfit and yeah it just adds on versatility you would think it's the opposite you would think like oh when would i ever wear the different color however it's just it gives you more versatility so i hope that makes sense and the fourth one is the hardest one to resist which is online shopping. I love online shopping, but I also love the offline experience. First of all, you get to be treated. You get to be treated as a customer. And if you go to like a high end curating shop, they will treat you very nice. And the next reason is that my body shape is different from models. Models are like 6'3". They only weigh like 150 pounds. And yeah, that's like, you can put on any clothes and they're going to have a nice fit. For jeans, I would go offline 100% of the time because Model fit is always nice. And then when you wear it, you're like, uh, is this the right product? Is it, is it the same product? That, that happens to me all the time. And especially during sales season, trying to make a conscious choice because sale products have a reason for being on sale. Some people might've tried it. They might've returned it because they didn't like the fit or it wasn't expected. So those were the four mistakes that I've made and I want you to avoid 100% because yeah, you don't have to follow my path. I've spent a lot, returned a lot, and sold a lot. So 
I wish you can build a better wardrobe. And let me give you a quick glimpse of what my wardrobe looks like right now. Now here's a quick glimpse at my wardrobe. Up here, I put my winter coats and then winter jackets. I have a lot of dark ones, so I am looking for brighter pieces and statement pieces because these are really like just normal everyday wear. And then in the middle, I have my camera related gear. And at the bottom, these are my pants. I do like to organize this way. I don't always live like this, but recently I did my uh, wardrobe cleaning and now I've been able to keep this up for at least half a month. And this is really nice because if I'm looking for brown pants, all I got to look for is here and then dark pants. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Next up, I have my short jackets and outer pieces. So outerwear, same thing, all the way from blacks to whites and then sweaters. Then in the drawers, I have, what do I have? I have no clue. These are shirts and whatnot, sweaters, sweats. Here I got t-shirts. These are all just t-shirts. And these are summer stuff. I should put these somewhere, like somewhere in a storage or something. Cause I don't need them for winter, but for now I just left it there at the very bottom. It's just my underwear and stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for my wardrobe tour. I. I would like to, oh, one thing that I had to mention, I actually prepared it. So if you look at, if you look at these ones, the hangers are all wooden. I'm only using wooden hangers that have shoulders like this. So even when I have like, uh, let's say a dress shirt or anything like wool base, I don't really hang wool base stuff, but something like this, like nylon, they get deformed really easily. Never use this. I call this the evil hanger at home and yeah, just never use this. That is it for my video. I hope you don't make the same mistake as I did. See you in my other videos. Bye.